After chasing Joker through Arkham, battling and defeating Scarecrow with his own mind games, and turning Bane into Roadkill, the Dark Knight finally corners Joker. After torturing him physically and mentally all night, the Joker tells Batman that he's just like him and the rest of the lunatics in the asylum. But even after going through everything he'd been through tonight, Batman uses his mental toughness to push forward and defeat the Joker. Let's talk about what mental toughness is. It's not about being emotionless or suppressing your feelings. It's about resilience, perseverance, and the ability to push through when things get tough. Just like Batman who faced countless adversities but never gave up on his mission to protect Gotham. I know what you're thinking, Batman is a fictional character, but even as a fictional character he demonstrates very real traits that allow him to push through major obstacles compared to our regular lives. And I say regular in comparison to Batman's life. The problems we face can be very serious, so why can't we use this to our advantage? You have two choices in life, either struggle to win and eventually win, or struggle and just lose. I hope that got your attention. Now you're probably wondering, how does one even develop mental toughness? One way is through embracing challenges. Remember when Batman trained with the League of Shadows? He didn't shy away from hardships. He embraced them, learned from them, and came out stronger. Now you and I don't have to go as extreme as joining a cult or a tribe that does action-packed things, but one of the things we can do is join a community, a brotherhood if you will, that pushes you to challenge yourself on a daily basis. This could be a big group or just some good friends that you have. If your group of friends don't push you to be your best anyway, they aren't your real friends. If you're a bit shy or haven't developed your social skills yet, don't worry because I've got an actionable step for you too. This could be for anyone that doesn't want to rely on a brotherhood for their success. It's very simple, just do hard things. Doing difficult things has an effect that makes everything else feel like a cakewalk. It can be anything that you could think of that's hard. It could be a cold shower, a difficult exercise that you hate, or practicing specific moves that you want to do in sparring, but it's taking you some time. I literally did this right before writing this script by having a hard lifting session and using focused meditation. This is something anybody can do instantly. But if your mind isn't resilient enough, how can you even do the small things like this? Another key aspect of mental toughness is self-belief. Batman always believes in his abilities even when others doubt him. He knows his strengths and weaknesses and uses them to his advantage. So believe in yourself. Know your worth and don't let anyone shake your confidence. And one of the best ways to start believing in yourself right now is to do positive self-talk. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it. Batman is not emo. He uses positive self-talk all the time even mid-fight. He'll shout out, I'm Batman or I'm Vengeance. Bro, just go look yourself in the mirror right now and keep this video playing. Repeat after me. I can push myself. I'll always find a way because I'm, insert your name here, and that's just in me to do so. Now that you've got a little confidence going, let's progressively overload it the same way we do in the gym. Use this in combination with doing hard things. First you do your positive self-talk, then you want to use that confidence and go do something hard and start small. And over time do more and more difficult things. This is called confidence spillage. When gaining confidence in one area gives you confidence in another creating an infinite loop. And I know that sounds great, it probably has you fired up right now. But I'm about to talk about a step where a lot of guys fall off and just decide to stay mediocre. I hope you're not one to give up so easily. Let's talk about resilience. Batman has been knocked down more times than we can count, but he always gets back up. That's resilience. It's not about never failing. It's about getting back up every time you do. So remember, it's okay to fall, but it's not okay to stay down. You can use all of the practical steps I've told you so far, but if you're not able to get back up and keep trying after failing constantly, then you'll never win the game. This is a little harder to teach because it has more to do with how badly you want to transform yourself versus how badly you want to stay down. With the steps we talked about together, this step here should be a lot easier to tackle but it's ultimately up to you. Do you want to win or lose? I didn't want to lose. Last year, I pretty much had to start from scratch. Life had thrown everything it could possibly throw at me. People I cared about passed away unnaturally. Relationships were destroyed and I was almost on the verge of being homeless. If I didn't figure something out fast, this took resilience. But now I've used these steps we talked about and now I'm here with this beautiful life and I have the privilege to talk to you here on YouTube. If you quit, you'll never win the game. Keep progressing, and if you want to become more, click on this video right here.